History today in the world of Mizzou sports. MU Athletics received the largest gift in department history this morning to the tune of about $60 million. That's pretty good. That total more than doubles the department's previous biggest donation. It's already been decided how this money is going to be split up as the Missouri momentum, it charges on. The buzz surrounding Mizzou Athletics as of late is not only something Tiger fans can feel, but also see. Over the past year, the changes in progress have really felt constant around MU Athletics. A new multi-million dollar indoor practice facility, an upgrade to historic Divine Pavilion, and more coming around the corner with Mizzou's upcoming Memorial Stadium Improvement Project, which is set to bring more seating, more development for year-round use, and a new video board and sound system to the North Concourse. And now, the largest donation in MU history to help out with all of that. An anonymous donor gifted $62 million to the athletic department on Monday, 50 of which will go towards those improvements at Furrow Field, while the remaining 12 will go towards the Tiger Fund, which helps student athletes with name, image, and likeness opportunities. In a statement, athletics director Desiree Reed Francois said, quote, our pivotal stadium project is not possible without our donor, whose passion for Mizzou's success, coupled with humility, faith, and generosity are unparalleled. When I sat down with athletics director Desiree Reed Francois in December, she said improvements like this are important for recruiting and competing in the best conference in the country. When you look at facilities like this one, we're sitting in the, the new north end zone coming, you look at the black seats, what do those mean in, in competing in the SEC like we're talking about? Yeah, we got to keep raising the bar. Well, that Memorial Stadium Improvement Project set to be completely finished by mid-August of 2026. It'll actually be the second big renovation to Faroe Field after the South End Zone Complex was completed in 2019. Some exciting stuff there, Natalie. Looking forward to it.